Hi guys, um, thanks so much for your support and your comments. Uh, they've been really uplifting, really kind of healing. And I've just come into town to get a bit of fresh air and some coffee. And uh, look what I can see. Martin and Sandra doing stress tests. They must have thought that I was too ill to go out, but it doesn't really take much effort to go on a mobility scooter to get some sun, so here I am. And I've got some leaflets with me. Which I'll be uh, just handing these out to uh, stress test people. So Let's see how it goes. Is this your friend? Uh, yeah, he's That's another okay. protester as yeah. well. Uh, okay. I just stumbled across these guys yeah. Yeah. back in town. Did you see Sandra go running after? Yeah. He's, he's also mentioned a lot about my drug use in the past. And would really you believe he's 45? He looks a lot older. He looks very, very stressed as well. He's uh, asthmatic. Scientology has not cured Martin Boyce of his um, aversion towards young girls or from his asthma or from just generally being a nasty person. Yes. I don't know what he's telling you. Is it? Why do you think it's nice? Because I know about me. You know about you? If you want to come and talk to me, I'll I've, talk to you. No, I've, I've actually, I've, taught, I've done the stress test. Oh, good. Magic! Yeah. And guess yeah. what? No, guess I'm what? in a public place. I'm, I'm fully entitled to. I'm not stressed. Isn't that yeah, yeah. wonderful? That's really I'm good. so happy I'm not that's stressed. Really good. Yes. Excellent. Yeah. I'm yeah. glad about that. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Whatever he tells uh, you. You can't touch it, actually. Whatever um, he tells you yeah. is, you know, just ridiculous lies. Yeah. He's yeah. talking to you about me, and that's not okay, okay? Actually. Right? Well, you talk to other people about me, really. you know. He wasn't. Well, he was telling you something about me because I overheard it. You'll see it on YouTube later. Keep your distance, Martin. No, okay. Keep your distance, Martin. Just yeah, but would you excuse us? Because he's a really nice man, and we're having a lovely conversation, and you've got it in on it. Well, if he tells you any anything about the lies about Scientology, I'll give you something that you can have a look at and find out what it really is. Real for free. Okay. Might as well if it's free. No, seriously, we recommend you reading up both sides Thank you. and then making okay, your own judgment. That's lovely. Okay, so. that's a DVD. You got a DVD player? Oh, yeah, I have. Yeah. Good. Thank you so much. Okay, what's your name? Martin. It's Greg, actually. It's actually Martin. Greg. Gre Gre Did you say yeah. Greg? It's, it's Martin Greg Boyce. Oh, he's, he's married to the leader of the uh, Plymouth Org. He's not a grey man, I see, but my son's on a bit. <laughs> Um, anyway. Well, look, they seem to be moving off now. Well, I wonder where you can recycle things in the rubbish bin. Anyway, anyway. Yes. It's worth watching, even though it, will, no, it might, no. might give you a headache. I mean, I, I've seen every single bit of Scientology propaganda. You know. okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It got personal after Wednesday, guys. Just thought I'd let you know that. If you were aware of my family's situation, I've not actually spoken to Peter in over a year, so I'm not particularly close to him. Fair game in all you want. But yeah, I got really personal after Wednesday. I really like you to stress to Vicky, and also stress to Rupert Pady as well. How come you've got the uh, head of security coming down at uh, the last few protests? Are you in trouble? Scientology in trouble? Can you just go away? This is actually harassment now. I will be calling the police Okay, please see. Nice to meet you. Okay, nice to meet you as well, yeah? yeah? Good luck with your Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Another foot bullet, hopefully. Yeah. I mean, you've got to remember that you came up and interrupted a conversation with me. I was leaving you guys alone, standing by the side. You've been warned against uh, wasting police time in the past.
Uh, it's a nasty, dangerous cult called Scientology. Um, Dave, have you got a leaflet? Yeah. Uh, get this gentleman a leaflet, please. Made him jump, you know. Alright, keep, keep your wallet safe, yeah? <laughs> Oh, they dare to do that. I'll blow it up, I'm too stressed. They really don't like me, do they, Dave? No. <laughs> the look on their faces when I turned up. Yeah. And I stumbled, I was on the phone at the time, and I just stumbled across them by accident. Yeah? I, just, I was totally locked away in my own little world, and just yeah. looked to my side, and there they were. Amazing. You know, Scientology, I wanted this to be on record, but Scientology has saved my life yeah. uh, by Protesting against them, it actually gives me energy and it gets me over relapses quicker. Um, before the whole Scientology protest back in February, I was a really, really sick fish and really depressed. And now I'm not. So, Scientology saved my life. <sighs> but not in the way Hubbard intended. So there's Sandra selling a copy of Dianetics. Do you know how much it was? Okay. okay, after just about, I don't know, 20 minutes, half an hour of uh, casual leafleting, look what's happening. They are packing up. Are you proud of the way that your church makes you act, Sandra? I'll pray for you, yeah? Because uh, both of you are very, very weak-minded. To be controlled by the cult in the way that you are. I feel very sorry for you. I feel incredibly sorry for you. <coughs> both of you are aware of how much misery your cult causes. And you're both cowards for not standing up to your own morals. Well, maybe you were just born without morals. Is that the case? When you were popping loads of ill, uh, uh, popping loads of ease back in the day, Sandra, when you were clubbing, you know, used to be a nice person. And you used to be a psychiatric nurse, didn't you, Martin? Is that right? You certainly took a lot of psychiatric drugs that are preventing you from going to the state of clear. That was incredibly healing, incredibly refreshing, and I feel absolutely amazing at the moment. I tell you, Scientology has saved my life. Scientology is curing me.